Good morning, Simone. I am getting ready to plant my marigold seeds. Uh, I haven't had a chance before now to do it because we got really busy um, and the weather was still kind of cold when I, oops, when I first wanted to do it. So now it's the best time. My hands will ask y'all, but I am going to put them in um, the pot over here. And right here I have my okra. It's coming up real nice. Um, ooh, these are old right here. I had peppers and sereno peppers and some hot peppers in here last year. And they grew pretty good in this dirt. So I'm going to put the marigold seeds in here. And over here is my okra. And they came up pretty quick. I was surprised. And then in this area right here, I'm going to um, make a raised garden bed. So when my husband come home and get time, I'm going to put, <clears throat> he's going to cut these two by fours and put them across there. I'm going to stack them in threes. I start to get the pressure treated wood, but I figured this wood right here will be just fine. It don't really rot that quick. Um, if it rot before next season come, then I just get pressure treated then. But uh, at the moment I'm price cutting. So these were only three. Uh, something aboard and the pressure tree that they were ten dollars aboard and they were nowhere near as high as two of these stacked together so the pressure tree that one was like this board and maybe right there where i got this height with two boards but i have three uh, stuck together so i got a 12 inch height wall versus where I would have had a uh, less than six inch on the pressure treated. So I think this is gonna work out just fine. I am going to find some dirt uh, at Home Depot. And I'm thinking about maybe six bags should do it. Fill this area up. And then I'm going to put me some tomatoes and some cucumbers and I don't know what else, maybe some peppers in this area so yep that's what i'm going to do and then i have my okra here i may transplant these okra over there if i have enough room um <clears throat> i'll figure that out when i get started uh y'all forgive my voice i've been sick <laughs> lately and my voice it just won't get right to save his life so but anyway but yeah let me go over here and show you all my other my other flower bed I'm going to put regular flowers over here in this little garden bed. I broke one of my legs when I was putting it together, but when I get ready to put my dirt in here, I'm going to probably take this one right here and put it in the front. I'm going to glue it back and put it in the front so it won't have all that pressure on it. I probably put it right here on the corner and I'm gonna put me some pretty flowers in there. And I have my, um, my uh, what you call this? I forget what you call it. Landscape fabric. Uh, I'm gonna um, pluck these weeds up and then lay this landscape fabric down and then put, I probably put me some um, plastic down there too. And then put the landscape fabric on top of that plastic. And then put my dirt down and throw my flowers in there. I may just get a pack of wild, um, a packet of wildflower seeds and throw them each one because that would be really cheap and just watch them come up in about three weeks so it's going to be real cute and I will keep you all updated on um, how it's coming along and over here um, my lilies are doing really good not my lilies these are daisies uh, it did have a flower on it but those little blooms are gone but it's so pretty it's still cute and I got one over here and they grew some yellow and red uh, flowers when it bloomed out. Really, yeah, really pretty. And uh, this is my black she shed, my black utility shed, y'all. I painted it black um, back in, I think it was March. I painted it, and then we went ahead and we painted Vic's uh, utility shed black also. 
it just looked better black than the color that it was because once it get dirty, it looked real bad. So the black is holding up real nice. I love it. <clears throat> and then I just made me a little concrete, little step up because right here would get real muddy. So I bought, um, I got 16 12 by 12 um, pavers, stepping stones. And I just made me a little walk up. So when I go in there, I won't track mud and all that stuff inside. And then my little welcome sign right here that came from Dollar Tree. Uh, they're the real cheap ones. I'm going to change it out to one that's not made out of this type of material. So it'll hang a little bit better. Because the wind takes this one and just flips it all kinds of ways. So yeah, it's looking real cute out here, y'all. Real cute. So... And then my spider plant, they are doing real good. I had them hanging up on the um, each side of the she shed, but I took them down today and put them in these um, flower pots because this is going to fall over and drape real pretty. And I'm just going to get me two different hanging baskets and put on each side of my she shed. Look at this spider whip, y'all tell you the truth they just i don't know which one worse the spiders or the cicada bugs but the cicada bugs are almost gone they about to vacate probably about another week and we'll be done with those things i hope and here go mr kroger down here y'all say hey kroger want to speak today huh kroger hey boy say hello hey kroger you're not speaking today he said he ain't with his hot. He trying to get where it's cool at. And y'all like my little welcome sign? I got it from Bargain Hunt. It was $15. It's real pretty. It made out of metal. So I don't have to worry about it riding from the rain or anything like that. So it's real cute. And then I repainted my door a little bit. I, I uh, fresh, freshen it up. Freshen it up. Uh the beginning of the year and I also painted my uh, concrete bench from that orange to black and I think it looks so much better black yep and then let me show y'all my tent here that I am planning on going to attend some pop-up shops later on this year so I got my tent um, from roses it was $59.99 and then I got a great deal on this table here um, this man was selling it on the market marketplace for $50 it's eight feet brand new out of the box he never opened it never used it so I scored on that right there I love it and this is a nice tent too so I'm going to order me also one of those uh, stretch table covers customize it with my little name on it and everything so when I do go and sell it'll look all cute and everything but yeah so Simone I am getting ready to go over here and plant these seeds uh, let me get in the sun so you can see the marigold seeds is full and she wrote me this sweet little note y'all she mailed these to me way from um I forget, was it Maryland? I think Maryland she's from. And she said, be sure to collect for next year. Here is an example of what it will look like. So, those are the seeds. And then, inside here is full. Yep, so, let me uh, log off for a minute and get started. And I will talk to you all in a minute and y'all okay to y'all my greenhouses they'll hold up great so if you see these greenhouses at Aldi and you uh, wondering about the quality of them go ahead and get you one because they hold up real nice this is my second year with mine and they are doing really good so this one this one zips down so you can cover up your plants whatever in the winter time uh, when the weather getting ready to change or if you're trying to start to see it. and that's how that does 
and you see how those zip down on this one here and you have your little velcro so when you roll it up you can um fasten it so sunlight can come in there but right now i'm just pretty much using mine for storage of my old uh, pots and stuff like that so ladies and gents i will see you all in a little bit okay happy tuesday y'all we are out here at it again i am finishing up my garden bed get ready to put the dirt in got my husband and my good friend jason out here helping today they are building my box and screws so to be secure so jason cut the wood for the um this end right here and now they are securing it so it won't fall out because one piece was a little short. Yeah. And there it goes. Yeah. That's good. You're not going to as long as that brick is there, I don't think. Mm -hmm. I'll get more and more and more and more dirt because I'm going to need about 16 bags, I believe. What you think, Vic? Jason? How many bags I think I'm going to need? Okay, <clears throat> so I started out with six, but I'm gonna take those and put them in my flower garden instead. Cause they're gonna need a little while over here. So I'm gonna do tomatoes, squash, some beans, um, some uh, spinach, and I can't remember what all I got, but I got some seeds. I'm not gonna do um, the ones that's already grown. Maybe the tomatoes. Only because I can't find any tomato seeds, so. But it's gonna be cute over here, and I think it's gonna do good. Look at my okra, Jason. Yeah, okay. The okra right here, plants. Oh. <laughs> I grew those from seeds that I had last year. Yeah. Mm hmm <laughs> From um, the okra that dried up, mm -hmm. and I opened the pot up and got the seeds out. <clears throat> I'm still hoarse. So, but yeah, but you bring that bag right there, over here. I want them all, really. So, over here, I've lined my planter boxes with the landscape fabric. I got two layers. I don't have two layers right there, but back there is two layers where the grass was really thick because I didn't feel like plucking. So... I'm gonna tear open these bags of garden saw made by Expert Gardener. And this thing is made by Expert Gardener too. So I'm gonna fill it up and I'm gonna put my seeds in. And I'll be right back, okay? So I got my dirt in the box, y'all. It only took four bags. I got six that I had for over there. So I'm gonna take my remainder two and buy more for my vegetable garden and so I got these right here I got some sunflower and I got a wild packet seed uh, I think I really want to use these because they're going to attract the hummingbirds and it's just going to be pretty all up against um, this black uh, utility shed uh, side panel and um, plus these don't have a sunflower mixture in it so I think I'm going to add them both and see what comes up in about six weeks or sooner, hopefully. So it's gonna be pretty cascading up against that black right there, what y'all think. I can't wait to see when they start growing. And I'll try to keep y'all posted on, okay? So let me go ahead and uh, just break the dirt up a little bit and spread them out, okay? I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, I got my seeds planted. I'm gonna get a little water now. A little light watering. Just enough to wet my soil. And the good thing about the wildflower seed is that it takes shade and it's a good shaded area. Jason in that sauce. Okay, sorry guys, Jason was out here. So
sawing, of course, because he's doing some work for us on the house as well. So he had to saw some wood, as I was telling y'all about me watering the uh, flower garden. So these should come up around six to eight weeks. I hope it comes up quicker than that. But I will keep you all updated. And so for now, I hope you all have enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, comment, like, and share the video. And if you're not a member of the Crowd of Peas family, go ahead, subscribe. It don't cost you guys nothing. Zero dollars, zero cents. What are you waiting on? So we will talk to you all later in the next video. Take care and bye.